Yo, yeah, what's up guys? I got a crazy story I want to tell you about. So I just bought my very first motorcycle from an auction, a 2016 Kawasaki ZX6R. And after I brought it back to the shop and started looking at it, I realized, oh my God, this is Yami Noob's ZX6R. So let's rewind a couple weeks. I saw online there was gonna be an auction in downtown Seattle, and one of the vehicles in the auction was a 2016 Kawasaki ZX6R, so I said, you know what, let's go take a look at this thing. I've never done this before. I go downtown Seattle, I get to the auction lot, I check it out, and I you know, see the bike and it looks pretty good, so I wanna, I wanna bid on it. So I end up bidding on the bike, and I win the auction, and I bring it back to the shop and start tearing it apart and making a list of parts I need to order, and then a week later, all those parts arrive here at the shop. I start putting the bike back together. I have to put in a new lock set. I have to put in a new set of bodywork, a new passenger seat, and get the bike running. So I do all that stuff, get the bike running, and take it out for a test drive. And the bike feels amazing. It's super fast and it's, it's nimble, but it's got this crazy loud exhaust that I, I cannot stand. super loud and super obnoxious and just embarrassing. So I bring it back to the shop, I immediately get on my computer and I Google ZX6R exhaust. And when I do the Google search on the first page, like four things down, there's a picture of Yami Noob standing next to this exact bike with the same exhaust. And I click on the video and I realize the bike in this video has the same exhaust the same tank side grips, the same Yami Noob sticker on the gas tank, the same braided brake lines, the same tires, the same mileage, the same servo delete, the same cat delete. We're gonna go take this thing for a first ride review, so let's jump into it. All right, so here we are aboard the Yami Noob ZX6R. This is essentially a first ride. I took it for one quick test ride before, but I'm gonna give you guys kind of my first impressions of this bike as I'm riding it. And like immediately upon getting on it, it feels like your typical 600 super sport bike and it's honestly really nice i mean you've got really nice cockpit the hand controls the you know riding position your dash everything feels very kind of high end and modern and then uh the engine performance is also really good like just what you'd expect from a modern 600 super sport so honestly like the bike feels really good it's super lightweight feels easy to uh to maneuver and get around there's one thing though that's kind of screaming in your ear if you know what i mean yeah i'm aware let's do a uh, quick first gear sound check on this puppy I will say, for the most part, I kind of enjoy that backfire, that pop, 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 pop. I mean, it's fun when you're riding with your friend, when you're by yourself. Yeah, that thing pops like a son of a gun, man. I mean, that was pretty good. That felt really nice. Yeah. It sounded really good, honestly. My understanding is that Yami Noob did a reflash on this bike, which uh, I think definitely wakes it up quite a bit. For a 600, I'm really surprised at how much low and mid-range power it's got. I think part of it might be because it's the 636, which is kind of a middleweight bike in its own way. It's kind of like a little bit more than the uh, the R6 or the GSSR or CBR 600. Not in a line, this thing's pretty peppy. Now, if it was a warmer day, I would say go take it on some twisty roads, but you can't really tell from the uh, sunshine, but it's like a whopping 39 degrees out right now. Yep. Here in the uh, Pacific Northwest. So we're just gonna go for a little scenic cruise. Let's do a rev test. Monster versus ninja. Alright, monster first. Here we go. Alright, ninja. I mean, 
it's it's kind of fun and how obnoxious it is, yeah. but maybe only if you're like 19 to 20 years old. <laughs> it's, in, it's, 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 I don't know, it's weird. I guess I go between being embarrassed and being stoked on it. Well, dude, I, it, loud is fun. Loud is fun, man. I guess. I mean, this thing is just got power on tap. It's like ready to go. All right, so what do I think of this bike? Uh, it felt honestly super fun. Really, really responsive. Handling felt good. Didn't have a chance to really test out the braking system or the suspension, but immediately it felt pretty nice. It was very, uh, very smooth. Felt like I had a lot of good grip. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And what do you guys think? What should I do with this bike? Should I keep it, use it for track days? Should I sell it? Should I give it back to Yammy Noob? Let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll see you guys down there. Peace.